perfect time for a sing-along, but for some reason, no one would sing along. On top of a smoky, all covered with snow, I lost my true lover by a garden too slow. They say I stink. Everybody sing! Come on, take it, Rick! On top of old Smokey, all covered with slime, I tossed up my dinner for the 50th time. Hey, come on, that's not the way it goes. No offense, John, but that song was a moldy oldie when this was the Planet of the Apes. Oh, and I suppose you could do it better? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Well, then, tomorrow night you can entertain me. Well, well okay. okay. The next day, I took a little stroll through the woods, as I often do. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing more soothing than the silence of trees and the sounds of little forest creatures. Ah, oh, it's perfect for my meditation. Ah, oh, I meditate very deeply, see? <laughs> Whoa! And I thought the big guy was bad. Oh, come on, you guys. We sound terrible. We're not together. This time, follow me. Yeah, now we're rolling. They sounded pretty good. They even had me practicing my fox drum. You're on, Robin. We play recycled music. We sing recycled songs. We sing the sound of nature. And you can sing along. And you can sing along. And you can sing along. All right. I hereby proclaim you the Camp Candy Sound Machine. <laughs> Not a bad name. I was still humming the kids' recycled music when a mail came the next day. Hey, Nurse Molly, I got a letter from our old friend Axel Grease. Listen to this. Axel says... Oh, John Mighty, me nerves are shot. I love me fans, but they're driving me nuts. Me manager wants me to sign this, and me lawyer wants me to sign that, and then there's all the newspaper photographers, and the video crews, and the film crews, and the encores. It's enough to make a bloke wanna... Can I hide out at Camp Candy for a week, kick back, and get a few new songs going on the old guitar? <laughs> sure he can. I'll give him a call. Oh, boy. Where did the boss use this? Yo, Axel. Hey, John, my man. <laughs> hey, did you get my letter? Are we on? Oh, you bet. Anytime. I'm on my way, mate. What? You speak up. I'll, I'll see you in an hour. Ah! And whatever that racket is, turn down the volume. Right. Oh, those kids are going to have to promise to keep things real quiet. Axel's coming here for a rest. Don't worry, John. I'll keep you happy. Any friend of yours is a friend of mine. Yeah, boss. I told you being a bush was way safer. If I want your opinion, I'll get my hedge trimmer and clip it out of you. So, Axel Grease wants some peace and quiet. Candy has just given us a way to make money and make him look like an idiot. All in the same day. of the cool and the famous. See Axel Grease live. <laughs> we'll make a bundle on this, and when we get done with Mr. Grease, he'll wish he never heard of Camp Candy. All right, guys, remember, Axel's coming here because he wants complete privacy. So no loud noises and no autographs. Okay, not even if he begs me for it. Hey, John! My main man! Welcome back to Camp Candy. Uh, I'm trashed, John. I can't wait for some peace and quiet. No! Hey, hey guys, I, I think Axel would... No, it's all right. With a little practice, they'll be super. A little practice several hundred miles away. Hey, I'm sorry, mate. Well, we won't let that happen again. Will we, guys? No way. Uh, you can count on us. Am I a businessman or am I a businessman? Check out these little money makers.
And every one of them is pointed right down on Camp Candy Boss. <laughs> as soon as those kids see Grease, they'll rush down and trash Camp Candy. Peace and quiet. Ha! Get down there, Beanhead. You gotta grab their money fast. Five dollars for 30 seconds. Uh, only five little dollars to see the awesome Axel in the flesh. See Axel Grease at play. Five small ones. Heck now, a surprise is limited. And they say I stick. Somehow the kids managed to stay quiet and practice their music. But they practiced far away from the camp in a cave. All right. I think we found our sound. Great. Take five, group. While the band took a rest break, Robin took a nature break. Uh, hey, you almost broke my arm. Huh? You're kidding. Let me see. Oh, no! There must have been a million fans on top of that mountain. Well, <laughs> hundreds at least. <laughs> Rex had done it again. One glimpse of their hero and those fans would have ruined Axel's peace and quiet for sure. But the kids weren't about to let that happen. Telescopes everywhere. Next thing you'll know, they'll be sneaking into camp trying to get an autograph. We gotta stop them. Yeah, but how? I've got an idea. We just have to wait till dark. <laughs> Nine out of ten dentists recommend using your bubblegum to cover up telescope lenses. <laughs> They're slobber on me, you mutt, or they won't call you lucky anymore. Axel's fans are gonna think the telescopes are all broken, and every one of these this way for refund signs points straight to Rex's house. Excellent. Ah, uh, you know, I'm kind of beginning to feel like me lean and mean old self again. Mm, must be all the fresh air and sunshine. And I mustn't forget my fan club. Whoa, Mr. Green. <laughs> You know, there's only one way I know how to thank you, and that's to put on a little show. Just me and me guitar, tonight! Meanwhile, back at Casa de Forest, a couple of no-goodniks were about to get a comeuppance. No-goodniks, comeuppance? How's that for fancy language? <laughs> I thought not bad. Oh, make them go away, Bart! Hey, it's time a royal rip-off, man! What do you think I am? A magician? Hey, I feel Marvy. Invite them in. I played for them too. And you guys can be me backup men. Come on. Meet me, new crew. The Camp Candy Sand Machine! I want to dedicate this first song to me old buddy John and all the kids at Camp Candy. But for you two, I'll make an exception. Glad you dropped in, fellas. <laughs> Have a ball. Get it? Ball is in ball of mud. <laughs> that is funny. You gotta admit, that's a funny. Oh, listen to this. This is a great song. Give me some nature. Give me some cheese. Give me some animals. Give me some peace. Can't be school. Can't be fun. Chill out together. Friends get together.
Once upon a time, there was a magical kingdom where everyone was always happy. The name of the kingdom was Camp Candy. All summer long, lads and lasses visited the happy kingdom. Once they arrived, they lived happily ever after. Unless, of course, rain. Rain and camp don't go together very well, unless there's a counselor with a brilliant idea. <laughs> you know. Woohoo! We're having ourselves a reading roundup. Whoever lassoes the most stories wins a prize. Well, after that, it rained and rained and rained and rained and then it rained and then it rained still and was keep it was raining and raining and just rained. It rained. Enchanted forest. What a lot of baloney. Oh, uh -uh, but there really is an enchanted forest. Right, and I have a fairy godmother. Yo, happy campers, good news! Wow, that's great. You can go outside! Uh, oh, uh, oh, if you can tear yourself away from those books. <laughs> Take your empty can over to the mess hall recycling center, please. Oh, can't I do it later? Now, Rick, remember our camp candy motto. Never put off until today what you can do tomorrow. <laughs> well, you know how it goes. It's a joke thing. Rick, but why does no one stay around for them? Come on, Rick. We're going out to seek her peak to look for rainbows. Hey, wait for me. Yeah, and then we're going to look for the enchanted forest. Wait for me! Wait, Vanessa! Hey, I hope you're not thinking of dumping that can up on Sneaker Peak. I'll just leave it here. Uh, I can't believe you did that. You know we all recycle at Camp Candy. Oh, Vanessa, you think one little can is going to make a difference? Well, what if everyone did that? All right, I'll get the dumb can. Oh, one lousy little can. Where'd it go anyway? For a stupid can. Yeah. Ah. Oh. Ah. Hey, there really is an enchanted forest, just like in the book. And there it was, the Enchanted Forest, home of all those favorite storybook characters like, like, Snow White and the, and, and the Three Little Pigs. <laughs> you, well, you know what I'm, you know what I'm saying, you know, you know all these stories, what am I telling you for? <laughs> this place is pretty cool. Oh, you, what smells so bad? I've seen this cottage before. In that book! But it looks a lot better then. So did I, Sonny. Those were the good old days when tasty boys and girls used to wander through here. Hansel, Gretel, Snow White, and those yummy little pigs. <laughs> they were delicious. What happened? Well, people got careless and started dumping trash around here. And there went the neighborhood. <laughs> With all this stench, I guess I lost my appetite for kids. <sighs> but I still remember the good old days when peppermint still tasted like peppermint. Mm. Yuck! Hooey! <laughs> Boy! Now! Uh oh! Time to go visit my sister, the Wicked Witch of the South! <laughs> I'm out of here! Pigs' houses? Condemned? What's this place? Dear Red, I've left this dump and moved to Miami. Love, Granny. This is serious! You're telling me, Buster. 
should they? It's hard to see me with all this smog, but I'm your fairy godmother. Really? Oh, what happened to you? Well, once upon a time, this place was so beautiful. It was positively, uh, oh, what's the word? Enchanted? Bingo! But then things got a little out of hand. Take this vine. Cool! Jack's beanstalk. A sad situation. People got greedy and overworked the soil. Go ahead, try and climb it. All right. Uh, hey, what's happening? Just can't grow a decent vine around here anymore. Uh, help me! You're up your godmother. Anyone come back? Oh, I don't ever get to. No one comes by here. Oh, oh, be five fold. Oh, fully. <laughs> moving right along. Oh, man, the trees, they're sick and tired. <laughs> Gee, everybody hates it here. Not quite everybody. Look. Big bad wolf's trash heaven. Step right up here. Step a little closer. There you go. BB Wolf at your service with junk for every taste and every occasion. Something for your dear old mother, perhaps. Oh, will it be something for the young man here? Uh, not today, Wolfie. See you around. Wait, wait, wait. Where are you going? How about some magic bean seeds? I got a special shipment. Does Cinderella really live here? Well, she used to live up there. You might as well see the worst. No, oh, entertain me, Jeffster. Amuse me. Okay, your bossiness. Uh, just a second now, until I get them going and everything. Whoops. Ouch! 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 You are a perfect fool. Oh, thanks, your bossiness. Well, I knew I was good and everything, but perfect? Wow. Cinderella got disgusted with all the trash and pollution and moved out. That's when they moved in. Well, can't you use your magic to get rid of them? Well, uh, Rick, once the ozone layer got messed up, my uh, powers kind of uh, rusted. <laughs> Let's look at our treasure, Chester, my jester. Wow, good idea, boss master. <laughs> How sweet it is. Thanks to these beautiful pens, almost everyone has deserted the enchanted forest. <laughs> and now we own this castle. Oh, well, yeah, it's a nice joint. And to think we owe it all to the little brat who first tossed this can into the enchanted forest. Uh, what was his name again? Uh, Dick? No, uh, Rick? I remember. Rick! Thank you, Rick, for starting it all. Yeah, and then we started dumping trash in the lake. Until the lake was totally trashed, and so was Camp Candy. <laughs> oh, no, this is awful. That's the bad news, Rick. The good news is, if you go back now, you can undo all the bad that's been done. I can? But I thought you lost all your magic. Well, not quite. All you have to do is wake up. Wake, wake up, up, Rick. Wake, wake up. up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Where am I? Where am I? Hey, you guys. Take it easy, Rick. I, I think you bumped your head. Oh, no, man. I went to the Enchanted Forest, and, and it was a mess. I mean, especially in Rex and Chester's castle. <laughs> he must have been dreaming. <laughs> good. Very good there, Rick. Oh, my gosh. I can. I gotta stop it from happening. I did it. The enchanted forest will still be enchanted. All right. And Camp Candy will stay beautiful. So the young prince saved the kingdom of Camp Candy, at least for the time being. And all the campers lived happily ever after. At least until it rained again. <laughs> Uh-oh.